So, this is happening. All right, cool. Um, hey, everybody. Reno V here, getting ready to rock a little Chrono Trigger. Why? Because I love it. It's just because I love it. Why can't I have the things I love? Huh? I just, I love things. Why can't I just have the things I love? Oh, wait, I can. Case in point, here it is. I'm doing the thing. I don't want to go to the hunting range yet. That's a nothing thing. Um, yeah, uh, if you remember last time, my little gem that lets me travel. Yeah, I have none of the things. Um, my little key, which I use to travel through time, has been stolen! As has my, uh, the rock I need. Speaking of, this guy is way stronger than I need him to be. Come on, give me the... Okay. Slash enemies with the wind gust. Let's see if I can hurt these things. Oh, I can. We've got 250. No problem. Wake up, Rock. Bringing some whoop ass your way. No. That wasn't. That wasn't the thing. I was supposed to do all the murdering and not take any of the damage. 11, a TP, and a fang. That was cool. I just wanted to, uh... I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not supposed to go to the pterodactyl nest yet. Yeah, I got my buddy whooped. And I've just now realized that my girly does not have, um... She didn't have any abilities yet. There it is, kiss. Uh, the reason I was gonna take uh, Luca, aka Alex in this game, my nerd, was because I figured that she could take care of us with her kiss ability. But, uh, surprise, surprise. She comes equipped with zero abilities, so that is not a thing she can do. Mid potion. Alright, I'm gonna leave here. Like I say, this isn't actually where I need to be. Um, I'm still doing a little fighting. If I'm gonna do fighting, I might as well go and do it in the hunting grounds, and I can get the petals, horns, and things that I need <clears throat> to possibly get better equipment. I don't actually recall if the equipment is better, but I know how to find out. I'm gonna try and get that shiznips. That shizzle piz. Oh, kill the rock already. We're not here to not kill rocks, people. We are straight here to murder rocks, so... Let's murder rocks, people. Yeah, rocks murdered. Yeah, I'm basically just, uh, yeah. running around, leveling up. I will, no, see, that's all I needed. Although, apparently, I'll have to do, let me get the mouse out of it. How do y'all see me there? I'll have to fight these guys again. Oh, maybe not. I will have to fight the terror dactyls, though, I'm sure. I knew they weren't going to let me just run by. There. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I'll see what's going on at the hunting grounds, because that's where I... That's where the goods are. That's where the stuff I really need is. Petals, horns, fangs, all that stuff. Because if I trade them, I can get something. I don't remember what, but I, I think it's good. I think it's stuff I actually want. Alex says level increased. Very good, Alex. Very good. Yeah, now I've got the kiss ability. I should be able to get through with her as my healer. Um, I got the best of the monkeys. Yeah, I think I should be okay as far as this goes now. I don't remember. I remember this place being a bitch, but I don't remember why. I don't remember what the. Um, I mean, these are frogs with 159 hit points, so. And they can be hurt. Normal weapons seem to do damage. They only do one damage to me. So, what's the. What's the deal, yo? Two fangs, two feathers, two horns. So that's good. I know there's some uh, goo around here somewhere too. Yeah, there it is. Now those I have to use magic on, which is fine. I left, I'll cast a fire on him. Voila. Man, my nose it just It's just that kind of weather, you know? Alright, so as you can see, I'm uh, excelling at the murdering, if I do say so myself. So, now I'm supposed to look for the blue guy. Now, you wouldn't know this, except that, um, there he is. One of the characters, one of the cave people says, Deer and Rain, Rare Monsters. I didn't get to him in time. Deer and Rain, Rare Monsters, come out. I just know from having played the game before that the Rare Monsters, specifically a new, or new, or, you know, one of those guys. See if I can kill these guys without my magic. I can't. I can. It's a thing I can do. I wonder if they've been nerfed from the last game. They felt they felt a lot easier than they were last game. I don't know if anybody can speak to that, but I thought these guys were a lot harder. I thought I remembered them being very difficult. It is also possible when I originally played this game back on the Super Nintendo. Yes, I'm old. Get over it. Um. I probably was way under leveled, because when I was a wee lad, I was quite impatient, and I would just rush through games, so I might have gotten here way earlier than I needed to. So, very, very possibly a thing that could have happened. Wow, I'm just getting more and more frogs, which is cool, because that's where the goods are. I feel like I'm missing something, though. Like, why am I supposed to get horns, feathers, shells, and, um, kazoos? Yeah, I don't remember what the fuck. I don't remember what the items are. Fangs, feathers, horns, and something. Isn't there something else? Something I'm missing. I feel like there is. Anyway, I suppose I can just, oh, leave accidentally. That should solve nothing. Alright, so, go high range, oh wait, wait, what are you saying? Petal, fang, horn, feather, okay. Yeah, I do, oh my god. A ruby gun, a shaman's oil, a stone arm, a mammoth tusk, a ruby vest, a stone helm. Strong as fire, not too hot when wear. Okay. And this is my guy who will sell me just normal stuff. Uh, am I gonna die here? I can't. Wow, 
Oh, that was weird. And frightening. Uh, <laughs> thought I was in a bit of a jam there. I didn't think I could get out for a second. I did not. I mean, I did, but I had forgotten. Thank you for the reminder. Now I'm just looking to get healed up. Somebody around here will heal me. I just don't remember which person in which town. Alright, so I gotta go south for the actual plot to continue. Which I also knew. Wow! Four potions! I did not know that was the thing I could get. Yes! That's what I, that's the girl I was looking for. Where you been all my life, baby? Cool. Alright, so that should put me in a good position. Um, I'm now going to... Cheat's not the strong word, the right word, but I'm going to write down what the what the items are that I need. Yes, I would like to know the items. Alright, so... What is this? Oh, uh, Yeah. Alright, so I definitely want... The Petal and Fang. Because I want that Ruby Gun. I'm going to skip the uh, the Shaman's Bow. And the Stone Arm. Because I didn't bring um, the Robot or the Blondie Girl into this party. So I don't really need it. I don't know what the Mammoth Tusk is. I'm guessing that's something for the Cave Woman. Maybe? So I'm going to get one of those just to find out what it is. That might be her weapons. I don't remember what her weapons are. Now here's the real trick. Fang and Feather. That ruby vest. I'm going to want a lot of those. Well, like three of them. And the same is tr probably true for the horn and feather. Unless, um, Ayla, my beautiful little cave baby, has a stone helm already equipped, and I'll only need two, otherwise, I need three. Alright, so let's take a look. Because obviously, this is a question I need to know. See, she's already equipped with all that. Um, I'm going to give her that just to see that everybody needs a ruby vest. Okay, very good, very good. And I'm going to do the same with the stone hat. Okay, so everybody needs the stone hat. Everybody needs the ruby vest, but she already has both. So that'll be easy for her. And we're gonna try and get. I'm gonna get that mammoth tusk first thing. Um, so, that means I need to give her the fang and the horn. Yes! So, that is done. Mammoth tusk, no longer a ting. Um, yeah, so it's still like the trade. Now I'm going to get the Petal and Fang trade. Yes. So, um, that should be weapons for my two characters. Now let's see if I've got enough Fang and Feather or Horn and Feathers to equip anybody. Um, the Fang... No, because you gotta you gotta trade in groups of three. But I can do the horn and feather. And that'll get me one of my stone helms. So yeah. There 
no. Alright, cool. So that puts me in a much better situation. I can go out and be a little bit more of a threat now. Let's see if I was right about... I'm not right about that, so what is... Oh, the Mammoth Tusk! It's a weapon for me! Oh, ha, ha. Cool. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should use the Thunder Blade, though, since I'm fighting a bunch of dinosaurs. But I'm not going to worry about that yet. For now, we'll stick with what we got. Um... Alright, so I need one more stone vests. Two times one. So I need fangs, feathers, and horns. That's what that's what I need. But I'm much better off than I was. Which means of course quick save. God I love this game. Alright, uh and we'll go back and look again in the hunting range in hopes that it'll start raining and we can get what we really need. What's up, Tori? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's every little thing? Killing some frogs and I hate them, so I murder them. That's how the game is played. I didn't make the rules, Froggy. I just know what I gotta do. Alright, give me some feathers. Uh, fangs, which I definitely need. Horns. And a level up. I'll take all that. Still hoping it starts raining, though, because if it starts raining, that's when the good stuff comes out. But until it starts raining, I might as well just kill these things. I also remember that while it's raining, the thing that comes out and attacks me, the, the Moo or the new, very powerful. Like, scary strong. So, gotta be careful. State testing? Oh, Christ. Yeah, I could absolutely see why you wouldn't want to go. I was lucky that, um... The state testing wasn't a thing when I was in school. But I've taught school. Um, I actually was a school teacher for a little while. And I remember teaching for state testing. I remember it being horrible. So... Believe me. I know you'll find it hard to believe, but state testing is no fun for teachers either. <laughs> Having to teach to a test is not a way to educate. Like, they've done multiple studies, and it's just shown that if you teach to a test, you do the, the pump and dump, where you learn everything for that one day and then immediately forget it. And that, of course, doesn't help anybody. Oh no, I messed up. There we go. Now I'm where I need to be. Okay. Now I'm where I need to be. Man. Sorry, my computer screens were going a little crazy for a minute there. Hello, froggies. So glad to see you all. I've got plenty of murder for all of you, you lucky dogs. Er, lucky frogs. You lucky frogs, you. Yes, yes, feathers and horns, all good. Yeah, no one, no one's a fan of testing. Except for, um, you know, uh, people in Washington, D.C. who have never been teachers and don't know anything about education. They're fans of testing. But no one, no one that has ever been a student 
or a teacher is a fan of testing. Yeah, shut it all down for the almighty, uh, almighty test. Come on. Got him. And now I'm going to get murdered by him. Um... Fire sword. Nice. Please die, monster thing. Come on. Die, 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 die. Woo. Oh, and she had the uh, flame kick dual tech. Nice. Drill kick dual tech. Very nice. Three pills, three minutes. Yes. Thank you, freak. And what else I get? Third eye. What the hell is the third eye? Let's look, shall we? Uh, third eye. Doubles evasion? Wow. My reading teacher said that part of our test score would be a grade. Ugh. That is definitely not cool. Not cool at all. Heal me, lady! Thank you. Now we'll go trade and get the rest of my equipment, or at least more of it. I don't know if it'll get all of it or not. Fang and Feather. Um, Fang? Feather? Yes. Oh, a doctor's appointment? Nothing serious, I hope. Um, what's the doctor appointment for, if you don't mind me asking? It's the kind of thing that you do mind me asking, just don't answer. <laughs> what else you give me? Uh, feathers. Yes. That's good for now. Okay. Never, never, let it never be said I stood between somebody and a shower. Because you'd be lying. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you that. And I'm going to give you... Save real quick. Alright. Alright, have a good shower. Hello, weird cave dude. Kino! Oh, it's Five Head! I couldn't remember what the caveman had been named. It's named Five Head because it's bigger than a forehead. Get it? Say now. Kino, sorry. Five head. Kino, take Reno stuff. Why take? Kino, like five head best. Five head, say Reno. Five head, say like Reno. Kino, mad. Boy, if I'd known naming him Reno, would have this Reno Kino thing going. Wow, I'm talking about strict. Kino, know why five head hit. 
Five had no light, Kino. No! Five had light, Kino best! So five had no won't Kino do bad thing. Bad thing, not good. Five head. <laughs> Kino, sorry, five head. Kino, sorry, Reno. Give thing back, Reno. Give thing back, Reno. No have, reptites take. Reptites? Where reptite go? Run trees there. Five head go, Kino go back village. Five head gone, Kino protect Yoka. Okay, five head. Five head. Kino, Kino man. Five head die, five head have baby, then Kino chief. Mm. Five heads, one tough cookie. Follow Reptite, get Reno tingy. Yes, if you want to know why we called her five head, look at her forehead. It's not a forehead, it's a five head. Because there's so much of that head. See what we did there? Pretty. It was me and Alex, because last time I played this, Alex was here. Oh man, I saw treasure. I was going to get the treasure. Now I gotta find a golden eaglet. Oh, why did you shoot that one? You know, there was no world in which I wanted you to shoot that one. That's 27 damage we did not have to take. You know why we took 27 damage? Alex, because you decided to shoot a random bird instead of the bird I definitely, definitely wanted you to target. See, and now you eating fire, ain't ya? Wow, glad we had those ruby vests. Wonder how much this would hurt if we get. Is it, you know, it still seems like it hurts pretty bad. I'm also wondering if they, these fights are worth Lithuanian water. Classy. Um, wonder if these guys are worth using my magic on, because I got electricity, and I think those guys are. Huh. Hello, little fuzzy face! Sorry, we're gonna fight and, wow, murder all of you. You kill Walla, you. Yeah, I don't know if it's better for me to take less damage but use up my MP. Or, go ahead and uh, let him hit me a couple extra times, but conserve my MP. That's what I think I'm going to go with for now. Again, whether it's the right idea or not, we'll find out later. Treasure! Mid potions. I mean a lot of damn mid potions, which... Bad for item shops, because, you know... I'm not going to buy mid potions from them now. But it's kind of a... You did not just throw me at one of my friends. That's it. You weird flying huge ape. Bow bow. Bao bao! Scott bao! Murder. Handled. Resolution reached. Boy, I should have brought the robot. If I'm gonna talk like a robot, I need to bring the robot. If I can bring the robot, I should talk like a robot. Yay, Athenian water. I don't know about anybody else, um, but whenever I open a chest and it's just an item like that, unless it's like one of those items that you can't get anywhere else, like an elixir or something, I'm always disappointed. I'm also disappointed by money, both in this game and in real life. I prefer to have, to open the chest and get like a really cool accessory, or a piece of armor that I didn't have before, you know, something like that. It gets a little disappointing to open the chest and get, you know, something that I could buy, buy, like a potion. Something I could buy for 100 gold in town. Alright, I think uh, Five Head's gonna have to drop some kisses on us here in a minute. Because, yay, shelter. See, shelters I'm actually good with, because I know darn well I'm going to use one when I get where I'm going.
Hey, dinosaurs! I know how to stop these guys. Suck on that, dinosaur. Oh, see, you, you need to realize I got counterattack. So, hit me and I'll hit you back. I'm not going to use on that guy, because I knew I'd get my attacks in before he got another hit. Now I'm getting more horns and fangs and stuff. I've kind of run out of uses for those, so... It's not super good to get... Oh man, these went up this way, which meant... This is probably the way to not continue to... No? There's... Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright. Ah! Bug attack! Bug attack! Where the... Alright. None of that happened the way it was supposed to, by the way. That one went better, though. Yeah, give that one a warning shot. Maybe it'll leave. Okay, it did not leave, it just turned red. That was not... None of that was... Oh, Jesus. Now, now your face is on fire. 83 experience, 60p, another feather. Because God knows. God only knows what I'd do without feathers. I wonder if the reptites had to fight this much stuff and cut through town. Ow. That's lightning, friend. It's your weakness. That's a croquet ballet. It's nobody's weakness in the entire game. All right, five head. Gonna need to throw a little kiss Reno's way. He's he's weak. I like how I tell her to do it. Like I'm gonna keep playing, so it's up to you to do that. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So you better make sure. Ooh, treasure. Well, I guess I can use a mid potion as well, which I have 38 of. Why not? Damn it. This forest is filled with monkeys. Flying frickin' monkeys. And flying Renos. <laughs> Courtesy of flying monkeys. And I'll just randomly hit a koala. I don't give a shit. I'm some crazy koala killing psychopath. Zero fucks are the number I give. Yeah. I feel like that monkey's probably the hardest hitter. Yay, five heads level increase. I knew you could do it, five head. The key is having five heads. Alright, so I'd already gone this way. Came up here, and that looks like ooh more treasure. See, I'm glad I look around, even if it is garbage treasure. All right, can't seem to go that way. I can go this way. Look at that. I find myself at a whatever this is. I've got ten shelters. I will go ahead and use one just to stay on top of my A game. And then we go to the layers of the reptites, where these little goofy bugs totally exist. But also there's a hole. I am going to fight them because I'm here for the XP as well as the fun. Came for the whoop ass, stayed for the XP.
Yes, that's not the one. Like, of all the ones to hit, not that one. Obviously not that one. Fool. Wow. I wonder if these guys are weak to lightning too, because they are not, um... They're not taking shit from my physical attacks. Very high defense against my physical attacks, apparently. Down we go! Obviously we're gonna do a little dance first, because we're not gonna fall without a funny dance. Alright, let's try lightning on these guys and see if it makes a difference. Survey says lightning does very well. Um, go ahead and kill this one, but the next one I fight, we'll see if fire does as well as lightning did. Because lightning. Lightning brought a smile to my face. Anyway, cartwheel! Woo! Okay, you look ridiculous. But I'm gonna murder you. See, now that you're shocked, I'd be shocked if you won this fight. Because we are awesome. Thank you! Come on, everyone! I like we just do a, we, a jump and then do a little spinny spin. Good defense there, buddy. Alright, since I only have 92 hit points, I'm not going to use my special abilities on them. A mistake? Possible. But, I've made him before, I'll make him again. These guys don't hit hard, they don't do a lot of damage, so I'm just going to beat them the old-fashioned way. Especially if they're stupid enough to wake up 5 hit. That, my friend, is a mistake. An obvious mistake, too. Not even, like, come on. Don't act like you don't know better. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. Well. Go ahead and stop that dinosaur. Alright, we're now ready to kill the dinosaur. Yes, I know he's shocked. I'm the one that shocked him. So, yes, I'm very aware of the shockingness that happened. Alright, so we got this. Oh, I got too close to his arm, I guess. Ha! Adios, Mr. Lizard. What you gonna do now, dinosaur? Are you shocked? Are you shocked at my cruelty? And my ability to pay attention to people in town and tell me that shock is really good against you guys? You got a cute belly button, dinosaur. But it didn't save you. Thunder Chomp Dual Tech. That sounds very cool. I Ether. Wonder who learned uh, tech for that to happen. Oh, 305, and I get Lightning too. Actually, let me go ahead and take a look at everybody. She'll get Boulder Toss. Which is great. You'll get Protect. Boost Allies Defense. Cool. Come on, all I did was walk into the damn uh, room. Cool. Now 
it's just me and you, monkey face. But we are killing it. Speaking of things to kill. Ow. How is it supposed to hurt you? Oh my god. Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell, monkey! And tell him Reno sent you. A lot of things you just have to wait for them to come back to you, you know? You play these games like a billion years ago, and then, very unsurprisingly, you forget certain things. I wonder if this is the right way, or if that other way is the right way. This looks like it was not, like, it was the right way to progress the story. I don't want to do that until I've gone up. Oh, come on! I'm gonna kill the uh, mushrooms first, just because now I know they can teleport and make the fight, and I don't want to lose that experience. Now it's just you and me, monkey man. No! Ow, my face! Fucking monkey threw Alex in my face with his eight hit points. Yes, I did obtain all those things. Uh, now, uh, if you don't mind, maybe you throw a little uh, kiss Alex's way. Good. Glad you guys could get along. Jesus. Okay, so. Excuse me. Stop trying to put me to sleep, dick. Alright, so now we can murder. Yes, I know he's shocked. Just need to stop him before he becomes more than shocked. Like, offensively capable. Fuck, he recovered from the shock. Oh, still dead. No problem. Well, go ahead and drop another save here. So now I'm thinking this is the way to the plot. Sigh. Ah, oh, this fucking monkey. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, monkey. I'm gonna kill you so fucking dead. Like, seriously. You have a fucking monkey generator? Let's keep making fucking monkeys. Cause fuck you, monkey! Oh yeah, the other reason we should kill these mushrooms is if he's too close to them, he'll counterattack with the mushrooms every time. It's all coming back to me too slowly to be of any use. Question is, is this the right way or not? Answer? Forthcoming. Hey monkey. Let me guess. You're gonna pick one of us up and throw us against another one. I wonder why that did more damage than it did last time. I suppose it doesn't matter. You'll be dead after this. Let's see what's in here! Did it dig us? Ah, oh, you wouldn't let us go in that time, huh? So I'm gonna try this time to use fire. Let's see how good fire is against these guys. 
because I'm curious. Alright, so it's all magic that they're vulnerable to. How come they didn't evolve to rule the world? Your only weakness is magic, and no cave person can do magic, then, uh, yeah. Thunder Chomp. Fuck it. Let's finish this guy. Didn't. I guess the defense gets lowered after the electric attack, not not at the electric attack. Well, that was a waste of some MP, but that's okay. We're just kind of fucking around anyway. Wee wee wee. Now I can just slip on by these guys. Ugh. No, you can't slip by though. A well trained flying monkey. No matter how hard you try, they can just sniff you out. It's because I wore my banana boxer shorts. Hey, I'll slip by this time for sure. Wow, I did. So I, then, when I want to make a sarcastic joke about slipping by this time for sure. Somehow I do. My life sucks! What in the world? Could those filthy elves have crafted something this advanced? Azala! And so the hairless apes arrive. Ah, and the new ones appear, cut from a finer cloth than five head. So this is the hairless apes. Reminds me of uh, when the Riddler used to kill me on in Arkham City, and he would say, So, the shaved monkey has failed. How utterly, utterly expected. <laughs> kind of my favorite Riddler moment. Perfect, this should make things easier. Tell me, H, what's the purpose of this device? Uh, no. I suppose you need some motivation, so be it. Come, Nisbel. So, I assume this is Nisbel. This is the guy you were talking about. He looks redonkulous. Nisbel, my friend. Jump kick. All right, I remember this guy. I've got to do lightning to lower his defense. But, I think he also does horrible things when I lower his defense, so... Alright, now I think his defense is as low as it's gonna get. Now we'll do super cool attacks. Back a KO'd ally. Get our lightning on. And actually, let's see. Mid potion for me, actually. Or for Alex, I mean. Alex has the lowest shed, so she's actually the one that's. Shit, he does that fast as fuck. Wow. This might have been a fuck up. Like a severe fuck up. Yep, this is a severe fuck up. Alright. It's alright, I can fix it. Shit's just gonna be expensive. <laughs> fuck. Alright, so we're gonna hold off on the discharge for a second. Wow. 
Like, wow. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Kiss yourself! Mid potion, her! Ooh. You can attack him. It won't help, but you can attack it. Um. Do lightning. Let's see what kind of damage this does. 373. Yeah, huge. I'm gonna adopt this for a vitamin D deficiency. Does that come from, um. Not getting enough sun? Don't you need, like, sunlight to process vitamin D or something like that? I thought I read that somewhere. Obviously, it's very possible that I did not. Or did not read it correctly, anyway. But, oh no! But yeah. Um, hopefully, that's an easy fix. Forever to kill. Like forever. Uh oh. I just realized how low two out of three of my people's life is. Why the fucked up there? Oh, now I killed him. Woo! That was close. Man, I don't remember last time him doing that discharge that often. But, Nate's beating Isabel. Give thing back Reno now. Very well, you've won today, but now that we're up tight, are the rulers of this world. Will not surrender it to you filthy apes. The gate key's not broken, is it? I don't know. Phew, I think it's okay. We should be able to get back now. Thank God. Say look how many times I've had no... Blech. Reno, will you know Reno if I've had no fun? Thanks, Five Head. I learned a lot from you. <laughs> a lot of things about heads that are foreheads that are big. Sorry, Reno. Kino tried to be strong now. Even more strong than Reno. Come again, Reno. Have a party. Drink, eat, dance. Uh, wait, I thought I was supposed to get a rock. Guess I don't get a rock. Um, all right, come again, Reno. Axeline to too. Okay. Uh, hmm. No rocks. That does not rock. That actually kind of sucks. Thought I was getting a rock here. Yes. Give me the good stuff. I don't actually remember where I was when. Yeah, I was here. In the Mystic Mountains. Adios, suckers! Yeah, this, that would have been a little too much luck if I'd gotten past all of that. Lightning on this guy. Noise. You can attack. 
attack him. You can also attack him. I'm trying to get out of this damn um, Pincher attack. Which I will as soon as... Yeah, as soon as he gets a turn. I feel like you're doing that out of order, right? Um... <laughs> Stick, stick of Truth came first, does it not? Because I played, I played the first one, which I was pretty sure was Stick of Truth. I had never, I haven't played Fractured Butthole, although I do enjoy saying it. I think if you, um, uh, I think a friend of mine has it, and I will play it. Just uh, want to get through Chrono Trigger first. As soon as I get through Chrono Trigger, I might play that next. But there's so many games I want to play right now. That's the damn diz, dizzy damn problem. Like, there's just a lot of games to play and I want to play them all and I can afford to play none of them because they cost money. But yeah, right now I want to play the new God of War. I want to play Far Cry 5. Um, I actually played some Monster Hunter at uh, my friend Levi's house, and that was cool. But. Okay, so the cave person's here. What do you gotta say, old man? There's a man in the where he's dying. Yeah, I know that. You've told me nothing! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm so angry, but you've told me nothing. Yeah, well. Now, why did you end up playing the game backwards? Did you just have more interest in superheroes than magicians and warriors? Or uh, was there something more to it than that? Like, what made you decide it was uh, to play them in the wrong order? Did you just want to play the newest one before the spoilers came out? Yes, please finish Persona 5. It is... It's my favorite game. Like... My favorite game of last year. It's not even close. I f oh, I love Persona 5. I have... I have... Let... <clears throat> five different people borrow that game. In hopes to get more of my friends to play it. So I could just talk to them about it. Because <laughs> I loved it so much. But first, the Maz Moon, now the Strange Stone. How in the world did you... No, I suppose it does not matter. Make yourselves at home. This will take some time. Oh, lend you a hand. Alright. Let's make ourselves at home. How are you going to fix it? God, look. This is, by the way... Mm, I think this is my favorite music in Chrono Trigger. You just leave this to me. Um, of course, the Dreamstone must be refined if we were to repair the Mazmer. But that's not all. The Blade Stone must be activated as well. You work on the Dream Stone, I'll take care of the sword. Okay, fair enough, the great Alex knows her way around the workshop. Boy, does she. Ah. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of, um... A little bit of a... I don't want to say a spoiler, but... As you're listening to this... This music... You'll come across this music later. And when you come across the music later... It kind of gives you a clue to where this Melakor fella has... Where he came from. Because he's not just some blacksmith that lives out in the forest. He actually has a bit of a history to him. And this music's kind of a, a, a clue to where that starts. Ah, it makes me so happy. Ah. Butthole and had a code for the other game I got when I bought it. Butthole, so I didn't bother with it. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, the person I'm borrowing it from, he also has the, um, the code for both. Uh, well, he's got the code for Stick of Turth. And he also started with the Butthole. I was wondering if you started for the same reason. Because he didn't want to enter the code <laughs> and download the game. <laughs> Wow, that's the same sword we gave you. 
If you were expecting lesser work, you shouldn't have come to me. Oh, okay, Rena, let's take the Maz Moon to P Tad! Oh, yes. Any lives are one for saving them. It all depends on the one who wields it. Be sure who wields it for the proper reason. Would you like to buy something? I don't think you sell anything that I want. Yeah, all your weapons. Despite being a master of weapon making, um, nothing you make is something I need. So, I'm out. Got to go to this house and speed capsule. Nice. I'm gonna shut that dude up like today. Well, maybe not today, but I'm gonna shut that guy up. Cause I don't need his mouth. I don't need his mouth. I don't need his attitude. Ah, all right, now I've got to go back to the year 600, which this will get me there. With a wee bit of fighting, but not too much fighting. And I get to pass by this beautiful crick. Who made such a pretty crick out here in the forest? Was it Jesus? I don't know. It sure is pretty, though. So, uh, my usual team that I go through this game with is, um, ooh, I hurt myself. <laughs> the, my usual team I go through this game is, is the main character, Frog, and, uh, Ayla, uh, the cave woman. So, that will probably be the team I go through now with it. In fact, I will say this, though, in the meantime... Suck on that, lady. I'm taking a robot. I brought a freaking robot to a non-robot fight. I'm still not very happy with the way these people look. Walking on the world map. They really weirded it up for, uh... For, uh, for the phone version, which I guess they did to make it where you could see it better. But, you know, I kind of get, but... That was weird. It, like, stopped us, and then it was going to let us go again or something. It did not, though. The battle she has commenced. I also thought I was going to get the caveman, but apparently I don't get him yet. Sorry, I'll live. Of the, uh, robot fight for me. Probably be uh, Reno R dash Y six six and uh, P Tad the Frog will probably be my party for the time being anyway. Yeah, kill that frog. What you gonna do when all your friends are dead? You ain't got somebody to leech off of anymore. That's actually a question I end up asking a lot of my friends. Ooh, new tech. Hello, fellas. Hey, frog! Check this out. Boom. Yeah. It is the Maz of the Moon. Maybe it's time you flip shit on it. I must ponder this turn events. You may remain here for the night. Uh, great. Thanks for letting us hang out in your really crappy swamp hole. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaimed the badge from the Frog King. And I need to see that sword with my own eyes. King Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean and I need you as well. See that you return. Long as there is life in these bones, I shall come what may. Well then, by your leave, I'm out. I'm out, bitches. Man, Cyrus sure looks cool. He's got cool armor and everything. This purple armor that everyone wears, inspired by Cyrus, who was apparently was a dark knight. 
Okay, really need to play those the B movie game. I will just need to get a controller. I have no idea what the B movie game is, but if it's based on bees like the insects, um, watch out because they're going extinct. Well, the night we wish you a safe journey and Godspeed, my brothers. My brothers! I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. Clang, 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 clang. Pardon the delay. Let's just be on our way. Glenn, you be careful too. Be well, your majesty. I'll be good. It's not like I need body armor. I'm an idiot. I just, Glenn strikes me at this juncture as like a, uh, kind of a country bumpkin who goes into battle in a, in a sleeveless vest. Like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Wow, look at this ridiculous frog. Uh, so you seek the hero's badge, knight of the kingdom of men? Come and take it then, if you can croak. That is what I mean to do. Nirvana strike! Alright, filthy badge, I don't think I'll forget this. Yeah, set that badge down, frog face. Time for me to be a hero. Glenn, yeah! Cyrus, Glenn, watch out! Cyrus, you are sold the Mazamoon! And look who it is. Yeah, ha, ha, is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. Girl, you're not besting me yet. Cyrus, I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance to escape. But, but, stay and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn. And you better worry about yourself, Cyrus. I do not think you've the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go! Yeah. And our hero, Glenn, does not go. Cyrus. Run, run, Glenn! The Queen, take care of Queen Lean, I beg. Cyrus! Cyrus! No! That is one well cooked Cyrus. Yeah, Tori, let's play Would You Rather. I ain't scared. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you not gonna try your luck? Grrr. Ha ha like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How bad, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Very well, no act of defiance goes unpunished. Glenn, no, Urga. Uh, splat. Ha ha ha, that's more like it, you spineless wimp. Man. And Frog spent all night thinking about that. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength, Osiris? Awaken, Reno! Seriously, get off your ass. We got work to do. Don't carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let's go to Magus' keep. Emmaist, all I enjoy are classics because I'm an old man, but I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well this fine, fine evening. Strength is no small thing. You understand the odds we face. you rather not be able to read or not be able to talk. Ah! Reading and talking are my two favorite things. <laughs> oh, crap. Um... I guess I'd rather not be able to talk? Although it's a tough choice. Like, ugh. Yeah, that's a really frightening choice that I hope I never have to make in real life. Um, but yeah, good question. Very good question. What about you, Tori? Do you want to lose the ability to read or the ability to talk? 
I've decided I love talking too much. So. <laughs> anyway, everybody, get ready for a badass cutscene. Frog, would you kindly? Andrew Ryan would like to know, Frog, would you kindly cut open this cave for me? Oh, we're gonna have another sad scene. Aww. Stop that. Oh no, it's Cyrus, run! Thank you, Cyrus. Glenn, there are times when a man must stand and face the things that trouble him. But it hurts to be hit. I cannot hurt another. Not even then. <laughs> we sure changed your tune, Froggy. You're too soft, Glenn. Maybe you need a Maz Moon and a frog form. Maybe these are things that would help you. Maybe you need armor, Glenn. Like... Your ability to run into battle without armies is driving me crazy. That's fair. I thought about that too. I was like, well, if I couldn't talk, I could still communicate in different ways. But man, if I couldn't read, I couldn't do anything. Like, 90% of the games I enjoy the best are the ones with a whole lot of reading. Alright, my turn to ask a question. My turn to ask a question. Would you rather live in a world without science or a world without religion? Yeah, I got philosophical on you. I thought as much. It'll be a fine night, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? Oof. Come on, Glenn. I cannot. I'm still a coward at this point. Why, wow, you're a better sword than I. You always have been. Aww. You're the main man, Glenn. Haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In real battle, the fear would take me. Man, for 16-bit graphics, that is a beautiful sunset. <laughs> a beautiful sunset. And here's a picture of that fear overtaking him. If you want to know what that would look like, this is this is it. They're, they're showing it here. Sorry, Glenn. Oh, look at him with his tongue out. Wake up, Glenn. You're embarrassing me. Glenn. Never mind, Glenn. You, you've had a hard day. Sleep. Sleep till you're ready. Sleep till you're ready to get up. Badge, the hero's badge. The Maz Moon, if you please. Woo! There it is! I won't actually hand it to you, I'll stick it in the mud for some reason. But boom! Let's fucking do this. Ah! You stole my answer. That is the exact same answer I'd give. I feel like. We as humans can be counted on to be good people without religion. I know that might be a controversial statement, but I think it's true. I think any atheist you've ever met who wasn't a total crap fest would attest to that. But science... I think science is the only chance we have to save ourselves as a species. So, yes, yeah, science! Up science! My name is Glenn. Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now I bear the Mazmoon as well. Mazmoon, Mazmoon as well. Henceforth, I claim them as my own. I shall slay the fiend Lord Magus and restore our honor. Sorry, I got a little excited. But look at this. Look at this.
smile on my face as, as Chrono did there. Like, yeah. We all know. Oh, it's, um, yeah, it was a cutscene. And for reasons I'm very unclear on, when, um... Uh, Chrono Trigger goes into a cutscene, and I've noticed other games that do it as well. When it goes into a cutscene, it... It's like, I don't know, copyrighted material or something, it just blacks out. So, I don't know exactly how that works. <laughs> like, I have no understanding of why it works that way, but... Yeah, it's kind of a shame, because... I was watching this amazing cutscene, but all everyone else saw was me staring at a black screen and not making any noise. So that probably looked really weird. Um, would you rather only be able to play dating games or only ever be able to play rage games? Alright, um, I don't know what a rage game is. Um, that might be a term you young whippersnappers have come up with. I do not know what a rage game is. I would, I would, I would seek your assistance on that. Okay, there's too many rats here. Or gremlins, as it were. A laser spin, guys. Oh, so you heard a bunch of weird noises, and I was just like, those weird noises are amazing. <laughs> yeah. It can be that you would magic things that fiends couldn't play it out. If you travel to the end time, master would again use the magic. Hey, let's go to the end of time. I see no reason not to go ahead and get frog magic before I continue. So I'm gonna go ahead, if I can anyway, I'm gonna try and go ahead and grab frog magic. <laughs> go and grab some frog magic. Ribbit, ribbit. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I touched that guy's little green head. My mistake. Seriously, we're like 20 levels higher than these guys. How do they get to go first? How do they get to go first? <laughs> I mean, I know I got Robo with me, and Robo is notoriously slow. Get it. Got it. Great. But... How are you faster than Frog? How are you faster than Chrono? AKA P Tad and Reno. Like, and making no, making no sense. Oh! Oh, in that case, I would only play uh, Dating Sims. Yeah, it's, um, it's the, um, the version that Square Enix rele released on um, Steam. Which is actually just the uh, portable version, the ones for like iPhones and stuff that they just ported over. Which is why it's got that big square menu button in the corner and you'll see some other weird things. Like the sprites on the overhead map look different and there's some other details that look a little different. Which is kind of a shame that they, they did that, but... What's with this big chunk thing? Sorry, buddy, but well, you aren't alive. You have great inner strength for what it's worth. It's just you aren't descended from the ancient magic user, so you're never going to be able to cast spells. Um, so, but they've been releasing patches to try and fix it, to try and make it so it looks correct. And even Square Enix has said that they're going to do that, which is kind of impressive. Um... Yeah, a lot of people on the internet got really mad about it. I've been okay with it so far. Like, I've noticed little things that have bothered me, but nothing major. Um, and Tori, to answer your question, I would definitely play Dating Sims, because things that cause me to rage quit, I don't enjoy those. And I think that's because I grew up on the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, and those games were really short. And the way they made the games longer was by making them ridiculously difficult. Talk to anyone that played, like, uh, the first Castlevania or the first, um, 
you know, the first Mega Man, the first Ninja Guy, and all those old games for the Super Nintendo. Anyone that's played those games will tell you they were so hard they'd make you want to pull your hair out. So I don't really like those types of games now. Um, it's kind of like, I've already did my time in hell, so <laughs> I get that, I don't get that sense, you know how, let's say you're playing a game like, what's a modern equivalent, Dark Souls, and you accomplish, you beat some boss, and you're like, man, finally beat that boss, what a sense of accomplishment. Well, that was like the entire first 15 years of my video gaming experience, so I'm kind of okay with it now. Like, I'm okay with playing games that aren't easy, but also aren't beating my ass. So, um, <laughs> I guess I'll take Dating Sims over uh, Rage Games. Uh, what about you, Tori? By the way, Emei, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Emei's. Emei's. I'm going to say Emei's until you correct me. <laughs> Feel free, by the way, to um, get into this uh, game of Would You Rather with me and Tori. <laughs> what we're doing to pass the time as I slowly make my way through Magus' castle. Yeah, exactly. Emaze, you must be from the older school. <laughs> cool. And the, uh, that is definitely how things work. They were very frustrating, those old-timey games. In fact, I'm actually trying to play Chrono Trigger in the old style because this version, I can literally save at any time. But so far, I've only saved where there have been save points or on the world map. So I've been trying to play it the same way people did, you know, at the when they first started playing. I'm trying to keep it old school. You can find some weird stuff. That I do not doubt. And I'm sure there's some very funny stuff as well. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Would... Oh, wow, that's a lot of rats. Uh, where are you guys going? Oh, right here to fight me. Alright, I'm going to need Robo for this one. So, would you rather? What's a good would you rather? Um. Oh, come on, let the robot have a turn. There we go. Would you rather live in a world of where there were zombies everywhere? Or in a world where everyone else had disappeared and you're all by yourself. A bird dating sim. I've heard this sim, the, the sim where you're trying to find like a, a dad for your stepson or something is a good one, but I haven't played it so I can't say for sure. But I've heard good things about that one. <laughs> It is very odd that there's a bird dating sim out there. There are a ton of dating sims. Actually, it could kind of be argued Persona 5 is a dating sim, social sim. Or at least it has a lot of those aspects to it. Um, and that's probably... Unless you count... Uh, beware the jugglers and the fiend lords keep... Strike them and they tighten their defense against blows, cast spells, while they strengthen their defense against magic. Thank you, Dead Knight! <laughs> Man, what was I gonna say? Um, sorry, that Dead Knight distracted me. You have to forgive me, Dead Knight's kind of a surprise. Yeah, I was thinking that. Oh, look at this castle. Yeah, Persona 5. Very cool. Um, but that's one of my only experiences with like a dating sim. And it's, you know, only partially a dating sim. Unless you count Doki Doki Literature Club. Which I don't. 
<laughs> okay, not the I Am Legend Will Smith zombies. Because actually, if you ever read I Am Legend, those are more like vampires. If you've ever read, like, in the book, they were kind of vampires. And it kind of made me sad because the I Am Legend movie did not really capture... I didn't think it was as good as the book. Which, someone, that's probably the most hipster bullshit thing to say. But, um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go 28 Days Later Zombies. So, they're... They're zombies, but they're fast. Walking Dead zombies, in my opinion, are too slow to, to be scary. The only reason people get eaten in Walking Dead is because they trip and fall. Or really horrible humans do things to like put them in zombies' paths. Uh, Walking Dead, you got to be more scared of your fellow man than you do the zombies. So I'm going to say 28 late Days Later Zombies. Or other movies where the zombies are very fast. Um... Because the, the real question I'm asking, would you rather be with your friends, but in a situation where you're all constantly in peril of dying one of the most horrendous ways you can die, or would you rather be by yourself on the whole planet? Are you a hermit, I guess is what I'm really asking. Because <laughs> I will go ahead and tell you, spoiler alert, I'm a hermit. I would miss all my friends, but um, I wouldn't want to put them through all the horribleness that comes from a zombie apocalypse. Ah, you're a person who doesn't like to be alone. I gotcha. I want to play. Let me just... Ah, fine, whatever. Don't waste your energy. Haha, ha, that's my med either. P Tad, you're safe. This is where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. Now that's where Flea is. Huh. Yes, yes. Very good, you guys. I'm gonna get that treasure, you little brats. <laughs> then we'll go up this way and there'll be other weird people, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Allergies. That's my mid ether too. Everything is mine. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's having such a good time. Mid ether. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, e because my friends, I love them to death, but man, they just weren't built to survive zombie apocalypses. <laughs> Which, not saying I am, but probably more than them at least. Ozzy, my boy, how are you? Welcome, Glenn, or should I say, Sir Froggy. Mwahaha. <laughs> Ozzy, you're so clever. Never expected to see you here. Are those your replacements for Cyrus? Lord Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. After you take it up with the Master Swordsman Slash and flee the Magician, that is. Oh, right. Wow, things just got busy. And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course. Alright, um, let's go ahead and start knocking these numbers down. Let's get those numbers down, people. Everybody can have a laser spin. There. Alright. Are we ready, guys? Would you rather be able to see ghosts or be able to turn invisible? I definitely would rather be able to turn invisible. Ghosts scare the bejeebus out of me. As they should. They're dead people that want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going I'm to also go with turn invisible. Because, man. But I would say this. Now, my first instinct was turn invisible. Because 
that would be cool, and I'd like to rob banks. But now that I thought about it, if you could see ghosts, you could talk to people that were far away. Um, you know, people that are no longer with you. Like, I could talk with my grandparents. That would be cool. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want to talk with their, um, dearly departed, right? So now I'm starting to wonder if maybe I chose a little prematurely there. Uh, alright, I'll say this. I'm gonna stick with invisible, unless... I get to control which ghost I talk to. Because, yeah. Imagine being able to have a conversation with your 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 dead friends, uh, your dead family, Marilyn Monroe. You could make fun of Adolf Hitler anytime you wanted to and he'd have to listen. Oh, man. So if I could pick out which ghost I talked to and there was a way to shut him out, I'd take that. Otherwise, I'm going to go with invisibility. e -maze. You want to get in on this action? You want to ask a question? Are you brave enough? I am going to blow my nose because it's driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, Art. No, I'm going to get disassembled. Uh. Man. First of all, look at that cool shirt. Oh, I can tell springtime is here because my allergies are acting up. Alright, what are you guys? Sorcerer. Yeah, I don't remember if I need to use regular attacks on sorcerers or not. I don't recall. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Meantime, let's commence the murdering, y'all. Annihilation Zone. That sounds bad. Let's drop a cure beam on the little frog friend. And try and kill one of these toidles. Oh, jeez. People think I'm crazy. It's just a little touch. But baby showers remind me of Psycho too much. <laughs> okay, good. I can just kill him with normal attacks. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So the reason, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm going to fight Flea first, it doesn't really matter what order you fight these two in. Um, I'm actually going to fight Flea first because... Once I fight Flea, I don't have to worry about that um, bat flying around my head anymore, which I find really annoying. <laughs> wow. That is horrifying. Um, <laughs> there is no good answer there. Yeah. Emails. I also don't know what to say. I'm gonna have to think about it for a second. Um, I'm gonna go with tell my parents. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. I'm, I'm, and not because that will be a comfortable conversation, but just because it's better than the alternative. Because oh my holy god. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, e -Maze. That 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 question's gonna keep me up tonight. P Tad's level it, and not in the good way. Uh, P Tad's level increased. Very good, very good. Hey, it's my mom. So this is where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. You've been very naughty. I think you'll have to die. Hello. Exact same fight. I've already fought three times. Man, it is really hard to get on the right creature with that. Punch him. Thank you. Punch him. Thank you. Aww. Oh, he's counterattack. Nice work. 
I had to make sure he, uh, Frog's actually equipped with the Maz Moon. I know they equipped it for that cutscene, but I don't know if they actually gave him the gave it to him or not. I need to check that out real quick. Mid ethers of all the ethers, those are the ones that are at the mid. All right. In fact, I haven't looked at any of these guys in a bit. Yeah, he's got the Maz Moon. Yeah, we'll definitely equip that. You can have all this stuff. You also need better things. Yeah, okay. We're good now. I was kind of going... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I was kind of not going into that situation in a well-thought-out manner. Hello, weird thing! <laughs> I'll be honest, e maze that's the best news I had all day. I wish I had some sort of a thing when people follow me that plays a horn or something, but I haven't installed any of those weird things in my chat yet. I probably should. <laughs> but I do thank you. I, I, I can definitely do that. Alright, can we get a hit? Good. And now he's dead. That was uneventful. That was not flea. Where is the true one? Tee hee hee, I'm here. Right here. Bring it, bat face. Bring it. Bring it. Greetings, little green one. Who is this person? She is a powerful magician. Do not lower your guard. Flea is not the mere woman she seems. Yes, yes, I'm a man after all, right? How? But exterior is clearly that a female. Hee hee hee. Man or woman, it's all the same. Power is beauty and I'm deliciously strong. I forgot how forward thinking Chrono Trigger was. Poor little froggy, you must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned into something so hideous. How dreadful. This reminds me of Vega from Street Fighter, who was always like, Oh, handsome fighters never lose battles. Since you brought your new friends over to play, let me show you all a good time. Let's do this, baby doll. Oh, in space. Alright, fine, fuck it. We'll, we'll do it in space. Why can't I have a combo? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get a cure beam. Oh my god, my frog is confused! There we go. Wake up, froggy! Oh my god, she just fucking put Frog to sleep. I can't get a damn... Let me do something. How about a... Attack all enemies with a laser. That's not what I want. Spin Reno through enemies. No. I will eventually do an attack, I promise. Uh, <laughs> man, that was ridiculously complicated. Uh, cleave, cleave. I'm gonna take Pokemon. Um, I never followed Yu-Gi-Oh much. Which... Obviously, some of that's just on me, but yeah, I, uh... Yu-Gi-Oh! kinda came out near the end of my... Uh, nope. Yeah, it kinda came out near the end of my... days watching the, uh, Saturday morning stuff, so I, I missed a lot of it. Unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I would definitely go Pokemon, because I've actually played some of the Pokemon games. So that gives me a little bit of an advantage. Although, I will say, I would love to have one of the arm things. The things that they use to have their crazy arms, because, man, those things look so cool. <laughs> I 
Actually, you... Slurp yourself! That sounded gross, but do it. It's important. Uh, mid potion... Him. Mid potion... Him. And then whoever heals next will have a chance. Who's Trixie? Like this? Alright, do not lose your shit, okay? Nice. Come on, lady. Can't take much more of this. It's cool, not to mention how much fun are they to pet. The answer's gotta be, like, super fun, right? I would just want to pet a Pokemon, like... It would be weird, though, is, like, the ones that are kind of humanoid, like Mr. Mime. Imagine having a Mr. Mime that, like, lived in your house and just kind of imitated you and... Mr. Mime, 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 like... That would get creepy after a while, wouldn't it? Or is that just me? I feel like that'd get creepy. <laughs> I feel like I would get creeped out by it, I'm not gonna lie. Ow. Alright, I gotta have something that heals the group, so let's see if I do. Um... Yeah, right? I mean, Mr. Mime is just a clown. That's really all he is. Just a horrible clown. Although he's cute in his, like, his, um, younger form. I'll, I'll give him that. Like the little, the little baby Mr. Mime form. Not so bad. But, uh, yeah. The other Mr. Mime, total creep show. And I think it's, uh, Sword stream, instrument, okay, um, you just cleave. Let's see if you guys have a combo. You have frog launcher, which I guess I'll do, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Alright, um, I'll oh, stop doing that flea, you monster. Let's see, what is a good question? All right. Would you rather live in a world with magic? Wow. Huh. Live in a world where everyone's dead except me. That is not the world I want to live in. I may have to finish this fight before I ask a question. I'm getting trounced here. Bring him back. He's quicker. Uh, <laughs> and also more likely to survive an attack from... Uh... Oh no! I healed the frog! I was not, did not mean to heal the frog! Oh. It was okay. Everything's okay. Woo! Just don't teach Mime Jr. Mimic that he cannot evolve into Mr. Mime. Oh, lesson learned. Wow, I beat Flea. I forgot how hard of a fight the fight with Flea is. That was tough. But I learned Robo Tackle, which gives me the Bubble Breath Dual Tech and the Triple Attack Triple Tech. But, but, I'm so beautiful. Lord Magus! I love, I love... All Ozzy and Slash. Alright, cool. Now let's get the heck out of here. Oh no. So, it seems these guys are still here. That is not good.
Tori, sleep well, my friend. And I hope all the testing goes really well. Obviously. Um, I'll catch you later. Excuse me. Little dinner burp there for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh, man. So, Emaze, um, did you play... How long ago did you play Chrono Trigger? I, I assume you played it at some point in the recent or distant past. Oh, one Pokemon in real life. I feel like you're going to laugh when I say this. Um, but my favorite Pokemon was always... That I can't do it here. Right, let me get out of here. Uh, my favorite Pokemon was always Psyduck. And it's for a really weird reason. Psyduck always had a headache, right? That was kind of like his thing in the old cartoon. Is that he always had a headache. And I used to have really bad migraines. And so I could totally relate to Psyduck. And I was like, man, I get you, Psyduck. You and me, Psyduck. We are like, see eye to eye. So, Psyduck would probably be the one I'd get for nostalgia reasons, but maybe I'd get a Raichu so I didn't have to pay an electric bill anymore. Uh, <laughs> ah, very cool. Uh, did you get all the way through it, Emaze? Because I don't want any, I don't want to, um, I don't, want to, I don't want to accidentally spoil anything for you, because I tend to talk about the game as if I've already beaten it, because I did many, many years ago. Although, the cool thing about this version is that it's they added bonus dungeons and some new stuff, um, and I think it has a new translation as well. Um, certain things that the character... Now, this is new from the Super Nintendo version, new translations. Because I've noticed certain things that they've said that's very different from the way it was in the old Super Nintendo game. Excellent. You are just the kind of viewer I need because I do not want to accidentally say anything to screw up. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to. I definitely. This is a game I would feel very bad about ruining for anybody because it's definitely. Um, I definitely consider this one of the top RPGs of all time. I, I love it dearly. <laughs> now the real question is, do I have what it takes to beat Slash? And if I do, I think he gives me a really cool sword. So, here's to hoping. First I have to get past these skeletons. It's interesting because I'm in here with a group that does not have very good armor. Because, uh... Um, Last time I basically went through the entire game with the main hero and Magus and Frog. And I kind of refused to change him out because Frog is so freaking awesome. This time I'm going to try and be a little better about that. Use different characters. Give everybody a fair shot. What's up everybody? Wow. Creepy. Well... Luckily, I am here to help you escape from that exact thing. You're suffering. I'm suffering having to look at you. We'll take care of business right now. <laughs> we'll take care of the business. Yes, yes. Boom. So, um, Emaze, do you stream? Or do you just watch the streams? Because if you stream, I would like to come check your stream out sometime. If you're just a stream watcher, well then, I won't. <laughs> but I'll uh, invite you to come watch mine anytime I'm streaming. Seems you've freed my undying slaves. Such insolence. Bring it, Slash. Okay, stop spinning. You're freaking me out. Manages, Slash. I must admit, I'm not even dreamed you would find the courage to come here. Had Cyrus not been with you the last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you would fit right in with those skeleton servants of mine. You're a dick, sir. I do not like your behavior. You being a total dick. You're gonna like this, though. 
Let's do it. Frog drop. <laughs> yeah. How'd you like that? How'd you like that, flea body? Oh, and some, and some cleave on it. Cool. Well, like I say, you're welcome anytime. Um, what's your, what's your answer to your Pokemon question? Cause. Um, I'm curious if you would go the favorite Pokemon route or the would help me in real life route or in some third random direction. <laughs> Ooh, we got a little fire on us. Oh, a little fire, Scarecrow. Here's some prowess for the first time in routes. I best employ all my own as well. And what you without Cyrus, you're no hope. Alright, let's fight for real this time. It up. Gotta be ready after all. Cause I'm... Imagine when this guy starts talking crap about how good he is. He's not just whistling Dixie. Cause really, who whistles Dixie these days? <laughs> but he also is not prepared for me to drop a robot on him. And now we're getting ready to see my first triple attack. Boom! 968, how are you doing? Ow, that was painful. Alright, I want to do that again, but... I think we all need to... Cheer up first. And then we will break this guy off a piece of my triple attack, because that looks awesome and did a lot of damage. Triple attack! I did not realize these are the... probably the first three to get a triple attack. Nice counter, kid. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I chose... Ditto. If we forget about it, I can just run to any Pokemon it sees for a short time, which is multi-purpose Pokemon, if you ask me. It's true, but I wonder in a world where you have the only Pokemon if you would ever have anything except a blob. <laughs> Just something to think about, because... Yeah, because, you know... If you've got the only Pokemon, you've just got a pink blob that you carry around with you all the time. <laughs> Don't you die, you frog! Oh, crap. Alright, cool. We're getting back in this, although it's... Woo, he is hurting us. I bet he's dead. Yep. Oh, everyone get... Okay, well that's fair. Yeah, that means you would get any Pokemon that was properly someone else had also gotten. So yeah, that's probably the smartest move now that I think about it. That is probably the best idea. You've obviously given this a lot of thought. <laughs> I guess I should have given it more thought. Come on, let's get that. Triple Tech! Smash! You're not ready for a slash. Told you. Nice. 10 TP, 1500 gold. Unbelievable. What the fell fine for Lord Magus? There could be no greater honor. It's true. Alright, now for a much more basic would you rather. Would you rather live in the mountains, the beach, or the big city. Mountains, beach, or big city? 
because I believe that everybody is either a beach person, a mountain person, or a city person. I, it's it's a it's a weird rule that I've come up with, and I am going to test it here today. <laughs> If you're like, none of those, I want to live in the Great Plains or out in the desert, then that will completely ruin my, my theory. It's true. Yeah, to be a beach hermit, you kind of have to be rich. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to be a beach hermit. I did live, um, for two years I lived on the beach, and it was... Well, not right on, I was like... I don't know, about 15 minutes bike ride away from the beach, probably a um, 25 minute walk or like a 5 minute car ride, but I count it as on the beach. I live very close to the beach. And it was the best two years of my life, I won't lie, I'm definitely a beach person. But I also um, lived for in uh, New York for 6 months, and uh, that was really fun too. So. I don't know. I'm a beach person, so I'd say the beach, but I would definitely have to travel into the city every once in a while. <laughs> travel in general, um, I really enjoy. I'm a traveling fiend. So anytime I can go somewhere I haven't been before, I am there. I'm sure there won't be any more monsters. Oh my god, more monsters? I mean, no way I could have predicted that. <laughs> and I like the mountains, too. I mean, I would not turn down a free trip to a mountain cabin right now, but I guess my only problem I'd have with the mountains is that I don't really like cold weather. Like, snowing's, a, you know, snowing. Snow is okay, like, you know, going skiing, snowboarding, that kind of stuff. It's, it's not bad, but... I prefer swimming, like I really enjoy going out and swimming, and man, you live in the mountains. That water is brisk and cold. I've been swimming in the mountains in the summertime, but the water is still ice cold. <laughs> the only place where you can go swimming and come out with pneumonia in the summertime. That's not true at all. There's probably many places like that. But it's the one I just happened to have thought of at the moment. I kill these ghosts because they're the ones that cure which makes them the number one priority to destroy <laughs> I'll tell you this I drove two times while I lived in New York City I didn't even take my car um, one good thing you can say about some big cities not all of them um, but a lot of big cities have public transportation, so you don't actually have to drive. But you do have to deal with those pesky people. And that definitely was the worst thing about the city, was the large number of humans that one has to interact with on a daily basis and be squeezed up against in a subway car. So I don't recommend that aspect of it at all. <laughs> Come on, let's win this fight already. I gotta cure up. We are hurting for certain. You actually let's go ahead and you wait a second. Ah, oh, she can't use it, she's not in the party. Got it! I thought I was clever. Wait, can she? No, okay. I was like, that'd be awesome. Let her use it while uh she's not even in the group. Mistro. Can any of you guys use a Mistro? I bet you can't. Ooh, you can use that slasher though. Go ahead and hand it out. Might as well, right? What's up, Ozmeister? So you made it. Slash. Flee. Yeah, I've already murdered them. A uh, pardon, Zazie. They cannot help you anymore. You fly, you tongue flicking 
Ah, oh, it's Ozzy's in a pickle. Yo, not a scary boss. Alright. This is some of my favorite part of this game. Um, Ozzy's not effective traps are kind of wonderful. Welcome. I, they really do make me happy. <laughs> Dark mail. That sounds like something I could use. Uh, what is your defense, friend? 102, yours is 99. So let's give you that dark mail. And you've already got a titanium suit, so we're good on that. Hey, not bad. How's this? Yes, you're very good at cranking my good... Oh, no! It hit me! It hit me a lot. Jesus. Ow. Whoops. <laughs> you cannot. Not only what kind of guy, but what gentleman. Any gentleman worth his salt will will take a take a lovely lady out swimming if that's what she wants to do. I mean what kind of jerk would you be if you said no to that? What impossible Ozzy's in a pickle. A death claw? That sounds cool. Is that for... You? Yes, it is. Cool. Alright, let's take that death claw with us. Ha! Look at all these bats. Looks like I'm going to be able to avoid fighting all of these guys. Yoink. Hello skeletons, you sons of bitches. Now I just have to... The skeletons aren't tough. Mostly the problem with skeletons is sitting through their extremely long an fight animations when they stick spears in you. And once you get past that, the actual fights are quite easy. <laughs> That's right, it's all about being a gentleman. A man of equitable taste and good fancy. It's not because there's a bunch of women wearing less there than they wear in the shower. Definitely not that. Believe me, I am uh, very familiar with the, um, what was that, someone's spear? Uh, I didn't see what that was. But yeah, I, oh, barrier spear, that's what that was. Yeah, I definitely know the advantage of living close to the beach. And it is the greatest. <laughs> Heck yeah, Magic Capsule. How you doing? Now, I know one of these um, weird save points will actually teleport me where I need to go. One's an actual save point, and the others will kill me. Ah, save point. This one's the way out? It is not! Oh my god! Oh, let's do battle. Oh god, they need magic attacks apparently. Oh no, they don't have much hit points. That's even better. God, they're fast, it's crap. Well, they move fast, they don't seem to attack fast. Yeah, the end. Yeah, that was an easy fight. Cool. Actually, kind of glad this was not the way out, because I will always take that easy XP when they when they hand it out. Did someone say easy experience? 432, 6 TP. Yeah, I'm 
I'd be a fool to turn all that down. Alright, this should get me back where I was. Ah, did I do it again? <laughs> Oh good, they move. Man, I'm gonna get a ton of XP this way. You guys are good technically, you run around and... Um, just get all this XP and TP, but... Oh. Um, well, it depends on how you define favorite. The person I use the most in the game and like the most is Frog. Um, Frog is... He's got amazing offense, he's got strong magic and healing abilities. He's a jack of all trades, he's good at everything. Um, I also dig him because you know, tragic backstory. But my favorite character, if you discount abilities would actually be Magus, because I really like that he's, um... I like Magus because he's a, um... Number one, he starts as a bad guy, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm, I'm, I'm always more of a fan of bad people. Like, I like the Riddler more than I like Batman, as a for instance. Villains make the games. Um, and they make the stories. And they fail a lot, so I can relate to them better. <laughs> so Magus is probably my favorite, purely aesthetically. Um, but Frog is the guy I like using the most in the game. Which is why I ended up, my party ended up usually being the main character. Because, you know, he's the most broken. And Frog and Magus. Um, my two favorite characters, and then, the, you know, the main guy. What about you? Who's your who's your go-to person? Now, if you're also counting non-playable characters, I'm actually gonna go with um. Uh oh. Uh, is he gonna come all the way down here? He is, isn't he? All right, that's fine. Well, this is gonna hurt. Let's see if this outlaw is. Are we done there? Good. But yeah, um, it's a lot harder choice if I can pick non playable characters. Because I like so many of them. Uh, maybe Scala? I really liked her. Um, Scala was an amazing character in this game. So yeah, what about you? Who's your favorite? Both playable character and non-playable character. We'll do it that way. That way you can have two. <laughs> Who's your Who's your favorite playable character, and who's your favorite not playable character? It's the only way to give it justice in this game, because there's just too many, too many good characters. Explosion from anywhere. From anywhere, from anywhere, from anywhere. There we go. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. No, uh. No save point yet, huh? I'm definitely gonna save before. Yeah. Sounds like we, we, we're very agreeable with that, then. <laughs> we both like Scala as our favorite non-playable, and Magus as our favorite playable. 
Oh, well, like I said, I had to throw Frog in there too. Because he's also he's also got the tragic hero thing going with a really good backstory. So he's also getting ready to die. <laughs> Let's see if I can't do anything about that. Drop a cure beam on him. This guy lives through this attack. Whoa! Where's that cure beam? Sorry, frog. I swear to God, I did have a cure beam coming for you. Just did not ever fire. Nice. Well, I was saying now I should kill this guy before he kills him. But I. Oh, frog lived. Good job, frog. Damn, that guy went a little crazy at the end. I did not remember him doing that, but obviously he sure as hell does. Because he sure as hell did. <laughs> Woo, that hurt. Let me help you out there, frog. Everybody can use a little healing, and then Robo, if you could do a little more specific healing, would be good. Least favorite character, playable or not. Um, that is tough in this game because all the characters are so good. Um, although I can definitely say my least favorite character, um, non-playable, I can do easily. Dalton, the guy from the Kingdom of Zeal who has all the golems you have to fight, has like a big airship at the end of it. In fact, he's the reason you get... If I remember correctly, he's the reason you get wings on your time machine, which is cool, but not worth it, because the guy is a total piece of work. Uh, <laughs> total jerk, that guy. So yeah, Dalton would be my least favorite non-playable. As far as playable goes, oh god, I like them all so much. Um, I guess I'll go with Marl, the blondie, um, and I'll say, here's the thing, she actually is very cool, like, I got nothing against her, I just, if you had to pick a least favorite, I'd pick her. I hate to do it, though. But I really like Alex. Um, AK. I really like Luca, and I really like um, Ayla and Robo and all the other characters. So I can't. I can't. I'll have to say Marl just by process of elimination of a group of awesome characters. She is awesome, but the least awesome. And again, tell her I'm sorry and tell her I love her. <laughs> All right. What about you? I'm Dalton and Marl all the way. That's fair. Like. guys. Yeah, I can understand just like in the Queen. She's a... She's kind of a bad person. <laughs> kind of a bad person. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and... Wow, that costs 8 MP? That is an expensive spell. Oh, I also really dislike the, um, oh, what's his name, the, um, uh, he's the old, the Chancellor, the Chancellor, I really hate the Chancellor, the one who even if you get found innocent at the beginning of the game, he still throws you in prison and plans to kill you, 
Because he's the descendant of a uh, rocker or whatever his name is. Ooh, a speed belt. Yeah. I mean, he had the. He was trying to. Um, the Chancellor was trying to get revenge because 400, you know, years ago, you killed the other Chancellor monster. So I guess that sort of counts. But he just annoyed the crap out of me. I was like, what bothered me about him the most was that I got found innocent, and I still went to prison. And I was like, well, that's just some baloney. I went to all this trouble to try and be a good guy, and I'm still gonna rot away in a prison. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew, I knew what you meant. Alright, kill this bird. Oh, they get a combo counter, because why the hell wouldn't they? Let's kill that bird so that didn't happen again, because that sucked. Yeah, I have, uh... So what other, um, this is that part of the game where you show, shows the corruption, and it's just going to get worse. The more I do, the more I seem to screw things up. <laughs> uh, what other RPGs would you say are in your, in your tops? We've established that you like Chrono Trigger, which means you're a person of good taste, but what other RPGs are you a fan of? Legend of Dragoon! Whoo! Lunar Silver Star! Man! You are bringing back some memories! Legend of Dragoon was good. Was very good. Although I remember at the end of the game, like, you had the little square that you had to hit it perfectly to do, like, the extra damage. I remember by the end of the game, you'd have to hit it six or seven times to, to get, like, to get the full combo, and that was, that was tough, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mr. Robe, another Mr. Robe, that you also don't need. Star Ocean, nice. Yeah, you are bringing up a lot of blast from the past, man. Mr. Robe. Strength plus four, hello. No, you need that. Um, you need that. You can have the power scarf, though. Let's dance, Ozzy. Yeah, of course, the Final Fantasy series. Oh, Final Fantasy VI, so good. Actually, the Super Nintendo, and I know I'm not trying to get in a fight with Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, but the Super Nintendo was the heyday of Final Fantasies. I think 4, 5, and 6 was the best trilogy of Final Fantasy. Like, if you took three of them, I think 4, 5, and 6 is better than 1, 2, and 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like, I think 4, 5, and 6 were the, were the best three. Yeah, so I definitely agree with you. Um, I also have been playing on a friend's uh, emulator. I got a little Raspberry Pi with like all the Super Nintendo games on it and stuff. And I've been playing Earthbound again, which is... Earthbound and Secret of Mana, which are two of my favorites. I've been playing that with uh, Madame Alex Severe, who is a 
girl I stream with sometimes. And we've been playing those. And, oh, so good. I liked the story and the characters of FF8 better. Um, which I know, it, 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 it almost hurts to say it out loud because I love you, Vincent, Yuffie, Cloud. You guys are great, but Ir, like Irving... The Edia, like even Laguna, come on! These guys were these are amazing characters. I think the characters from eight were better. I think the fighting and the style from seven were better. Like I like the materia system of putting different weapon, getting your weapons and then putting different materia in it to use in combat and leveling it up that way. I like that better than the draw system. I thought the draw system was a lot more. Um, it was just too repetitive. Like, you find a new enemy, you find a new spell, so then you have to get in a fight with that enemy and try and get a hundred off it from every character, and it's like, oof. And sometimes it, it seems kind of random. Some guy will just keep drawing one off it, so you literally gotta draw off the guy like a hundred times. <laughs> so, that being said, I did love 8. I did enjoy 8, and like, I think 8 had the best story. Which, again, a lot of people would fight me about. But I did enjoy it. I did think it was great. And, um... I didn't think 9 was that good. I didn't dislike it. I played it all the way through. I beat it. I liked... Weirdly enough, I don't know if you ever played Dissidia. But, um... <laughs> On the fighting game Dissidia, Kuja from FF9 was like my favorite guy. Ah, oh, Breath of Fire. Um, really enjoyed Breath of Fire. 1 and 2 and 3. The one for PlayStation was really good. Um, also, if you ever played uh, Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. Uh, and Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Also really good games. And if not, I suggest you uh, find them on emulator or something. Because... If you liked Final Fantasy, then those will be right up your alley, I think. Um, but yeah, I loved Breath of Fire. A little blue-haired dragon kid. <laughs> Who somehow was like the same character in every game. But I won't ask questions. <laughs> um, oh, cool. I picked right. Okay, so, I am not brave enough to fight uh, Magus yet. So, I think that's where I'm going to call it. Um, we got really far today. We have gotten the entire castle done except for Magus. And the reason I'm saving him for later is because I remember him being a f beast. Uh, <laughs> remember it being a pretty tough fight. And it may be so tough that I have to leave this castle and go buy supplies. And I'm not up to that tonight. I'll do that next time. But, um, yeah. Thank you, uh, Emays, so much. And, uh, Tori, Victoria, I hate you, fuck off. I know all your code names. Um, thank you as well for joining in. Uh, much love, you guys and gals. I will check you all later. Until then, take it easy and watch out for snakes. <laughs>